Yeah, I was going to introduce uh, Joe Krolak up here. He's the principal en hydraulic engineer and the leader of the hydraulic and geotechnical engineering team at FHWA, Office of Bridges and Structures. His primary responsibility includes the leading, leading the policy program, technical and direction, and developing guidance for hydrology, culverts, bridges, extreme events, scour floodplains, coastal hydraulics for both FHWA and the U.S. DOT. He's also a member of the Astro Technical Committee on Hydrology and Hydraulics, a member of the ASCE and the EWRI, and a technical reviewer for the ASCE journals and a member of various NCHRP programs, <coughs> program, excuse me, panels and national of the National Academies. Guys, give a good welcome for Joe Krolak. Thanks. Good afternoon. Um, actually, I'm going to make a presentation, and then we're going to go to a break, a well-needed break after hearing me speak, and that way we'll come back, and then I will go up and talk about federal highway updates. But as Brad said, I'm the principal hydraulic engineer in Federal Highways Office of Bridges and Structures in Washington, D.C. I'm also here today as a member of the AASHTO Technical Committee in H&H. &H. However, I'm especially proud to be here to describe the 2022 recipient of the Mark Miles Award. This biannual award is named in honor of Mr. Mark Miles, an active and forward-thinking hydraulic engineer with the Alaska DOT and a long-serving member of the ATCHH. In 2006, at the San Diego NHEC, we lost Mark. Mark's passing represented a great loss to the hydraulic community. In memorial, the National Hydraulics Engineering Conference established this award to formally recognize those individuals who, like his namesake Mark, have made outstanding contributions while serving at or for State Department of Transportation, universities, federal agencies, or private consulting firms. The process, the process selecting the recipient of the Mark Miles Award begins with the nomination of a person who has a career marked by constant service to the motoring public, colleagues, and the advancement of the transportation hydraulic engineering profession. Since it started in 2010, recipients have included Dave Henderson, Lotwick Reese, Larry Arneson, Rick Renna, and most recently in 2018, Pete Lagasse. All are giants in our discipline. I think you'll find our 2022 recipient equally impressive and qualified. Let me provide some background on this person. She has helped improve all aspects of state and national hydraulics program and project delivery, including research, deployment, outreach, and guidance. She has been with the Minnesota Department of Transportation since 1985, and for the last 18 years, she has been the state hydraulic engineer. Since 2005, she has been a member of the Astro Technical Committee for Hydrology and Hydraulics, including leading the committee as chair from 2011 to 2013. One major outcome of her tenure was the release of the Astro Drainage Manual in 2014. In her various roles, she has implemented numerous programs and practices that have made MnDOT a model hydraulics program, being responsible for most of the hydraulic standards and specifications used by MnDOT. She has led efforts within MnDOT to develop tools to promote holistic design for bridges and culverts. Along her strong technical credibility, she is seen as a leader, a leader and go-to person, both within MnDOT, but also nationally for hydraulic questions and issues at all levels of complexity. She has strong communication skills to accurately explain and resolve problems with solutions. She mentors many of the younger engineers within her group, as well as members of TCHH and university students. 
She works as a booster, promoting civil engineering internship programs within MnDOT. She is well known as the driving force between the Hydrolink newsletter produced by ATCHH, which provides the latest and greatest information on hydraulic practices, technologies, and initiatives to the hydraulic practitioners across the nation. Epitomizing her diverse national experience is her service on numerous national research panels at the National Academies and other groups. She is well respected and admired amongst the members of the TCHH, Federal Highway, MnDOT, and the entire hydraulics community. Therefore, there should be no surprise that the 2022 recipient of the Mark Miles Award is none other than Andrea Hendrickson. We are very proud to honor her with this award. Please join me in celebrating the presentation of the 2022 Mark Miles Award to Ms. Andrea Hendrickson. Where are you, Andrea? Camera, come on out. Come on, she's gonna hide behind the podium. 